Hello everyone, uh, Christmas has uh, been and gone. Um, I was going to do some outdoor shooting for you and a, and a review but the, um, the, the temperatures are just too cold outside for filming today. It's uh, minus 8 outside at the moment. Um, okay for shooting but not so much for filming. Um, so I've come indoors uh, to tell you about my latest little baby and here it is. This uh, arrived uh, Christmas morning and it's a Bodnik Mohawk and I'm chuffed to bits. Really really pleased. Um, I thought I'd do a quick review for you. Uh, there's been a lot of people asking me what it's like and uh, various details they wanted to know about the bow. Um, so I'll keep this as short as I can so as I don't bore your pants off. Uh, but I have made a few notes which I'll uh, uh, refer to through this little video. I apologise for that. Um, for those who have watched my videos before will know uh, I don't do scripts normally, uh, which is why I end up waffling on a lot of the times. Um, but there are certain things I wanted to cover with this, um, so just to remind me um, not to forget them, I'll refer to my notes. Um, it's, a, it's a Bodnik Mohawk, and I've ordered the 60 inch. Um, it's also available as 62 inch, um, and I've ordered 50 pounds. Um, so that's the spec of the bow. Um, just wanted to speak to you first of all about my initial impressions when when I uh, opened the box up. Um, I must say I was going to do an unboxing video first of all, but um, as you can imagine, I was excited. You don't need to see that. Um, <laughs> there was uh, sellotape and packing material flying everywhere. Um, so, what's the bow like? Um, firstly, I think. The bowyers at Bodnik have done a, a fantastic job that the contours um, on this riser are just really, really pleasing to the eye. Um, they've used a beautiful walnut wood and, and micarta inlay and uh, I, I think it's stunning. I know beauty is in the eye of the beholder but um, I, I love it. I think it, it looks classy. It really does look classy. Uh, and I like the darkness of the walnut, it's, it suits it and it brings out the contours really, really nicely. So, what's it like in the hand? A few people have asked me, what's the grip like? Quite important for a lot of people. Um, well, I can tell you, it fits beautifully. You just, it, it just goes straight into the hand in exactly the right position. There's none of this shoveling about, trying to get the right grip. It's got a lovely, lovely palm swell on this side, which just fits nicely into the hand. The grip part itself, where the, the web between your thumb and forefinger goes, is, is nice and narrow. Um, it's got a little cutout on this side, a bigger cutout on this side, and it just fits lovely. Um, in fact, when you're shooting, you don't even give the grip. A second thought and that's the best recommendation I can give it uh, you can just concentrate on your shooting it, it's comfortable uh, with enough support where it should have spot on um, it, it's kind of almost like a, a custom grip uh, again the guys at Bodnik and Bearpour have done a really good job on that um, one of the highlights of the, of the whole boat I would say um, me being the impetuous type um, <laughs> threw the string on the on the bow and went straight out to shoot and uh, I was gobsmacked at the speed of this thing absolutely astounded I've, I've shot the um, the slick stick a couple of different ones and that's a fast bow um, if you see some of the online review, reviews um, it's astoundingly quick uh, unfortunately I'm not lucky enough to own a chronograph uh, so I, I can't actually measure the the, the speed, uh, but I can say this is probably the fastest bow I've ever shot. Incredibly quick, incredibly quick. I'm going to try and get it on the chronograph when I can scrounge one, um, but that'll be once the snow's gone, I guess. Um, really, really astounding, and that of course comes from the um, the bamboo limbs. Um, should have mentioned those before. Um, Walnut micarta bamboo limbs, uh, micarta tips as well, um, really good quality, well put together bow. Um, 
back to shooting impressions. Um, one thing I was surprised, so remember I said I've shot this, the, um, the um, slick stick. The slick stick is, is one of the quietest bows you could buy. Um, and I was quite, kind of expecting the same from this. And it, when it made more noise, uh, I was quite surprised. It wasn't loud by any means. Um, but of course then I realised I hadn't set the brace height up. Impetuous me. Um, I just put the string on straight out of the pack. Um, when I measured the brace height it was on um, 7 inch. And the recommended brace height is 8. Um, so I put something like, I don't know, I can't remember, 12 or 16 uh, turns on the string. Brought it up to 8 inch anyway. Very, very quiet. Very quiet. I would say not quite as quiet as the slick stick is as standard, but very, very quiet. Um, since shooting, yesterday I put these on, measure, uh, made my own, the old um, string silencer puffs. And these were only, I think, six or six and a half uh, centimetre uh, strands of wool. So not very, very big at all. The bow is now silent. Incredibly quiet. It's, it's spooky. The first noise you hear when shooting is when the arrow hits the target. It just spot on. Uh, again, a lot of this is for looks as well. Um, but... Uh, it's quiet as standard, silent with these on. Really, really good. Um, excuse me while I'm just referring to my... Ah, yes, sir. Good job I've written the notes. Handshock. Everybody hates handshock. Um, I took delivery of a bow a couple of years back and it was abysmal. It took a long, long while to set up. This, no handshock. None. Zero, zip, nada, not a little bit, not half a percent, none, right? All this kinetic energy goes straight into the arrow. There's none reaches your hand, wrist, arm, none of that. Astounding. It's it's smooth to draw uh, to draw as well. Um, as I've mentioned, this is a, a fifty inch bow and I wasn't quite sure what to expect um, with the shortness of it. It's 60 inch. I've never had a bow this short before. Um, but really, really nice to draw. Um, in fact, it felt like it was kind of 40 pound less. Um, feels like a 40, uh, sorry, 10 pound less. Feels like a 40 pound bow to draw. Um, release, lovely, no hand shock. <laughs> What more do you want from from any bow, whether you've bought this price bracket or sky's the limit price bracket? You could not want more from the shooting experience. Really, really impressive stuff. Um, right, what else have we got? The quality of the bow is very, very nice. Um, it's well put together. Um, Bodnik offer... 30 year guarantee on all their bows and if that doesn't show um, confidence in their product then I don't know what is um, and that 30 year guarantee is transferable as well so it's not just for the first owner you could be five owners down the line and it will have from the date of manufacture uh, a 30 year guarantee on it uh, incredible and that's why they're all um, serial numbered really really impressive stuff um, what else do I want to talk about? Well, some cons. Um, we've all we've spoken about all the pros so far. Couple of cons. Um, there's no facility for attachments, either a, um, a, a fixed quiver or bow fishing gear, which some bows do have. They have the little um, inserts, the threaded inserts. Uh, whether Bodnik will offer it as a, an option later on or make it standard on this particular bow I don't know um, I personally I'm not too worried about the fitments for a, a quiver I'm gonna go for one of the strap-on quivers um, but as a bow fishing setup this bow would be absolutely incredible um, so that would have been nice 
Um, shouldn't cost the earth either. I mean, these these things are, are fairly cost efficient to to uh, to fit to those. Um, and the other con that I can think of is the waiting time for these because of the uh, popularity are currently around 16 or 18 weeks. Um, my personal opinion is it's worth the wait and I can't stress that enough. Um, if you go to some other bowyers you can be waiting 8, 9, 12 months, in fact even more than that depending on where you go um, and that's purely down to the popularity. I think it's taken um, Bearpool by surprise a little bit um, but they're working on um, uh, the backlog as it were so hopefully those uh, waiting times will come down quite a bit. I hope so um, because I can only recommend this bow. Um, I, I love it, it's absolutely an incredible weapon. Um, for the more observant of you, you may have noticed I've got a, a cutout on the um, on the shelf there, um, what they call a wolfy shelf, um, which just gives a little bit more clearance for the for the fletchings as it's uh, as it's leaving the riser. Um, really like I just wanted something to mark it as mine, really something to to, to call it custom, if you like. Uh, Obviously the standard ones haven't got that cut out on there, but otherwise it's a standard bow. Um, and any other conclusions? Let me just have a look at my notes. Uh, yeah, basically I, I don't think any archer would would be disappointed with, with one of these if they bought it. Whether they're a beginner, whether they're experienced, whether they're into just target shooting or hunting. Um, and irrespective of, of what experience they've had in the past with bows, whatever they've shot in the past, I, I think anybody would be happy to own and use one of these. Um, and considering the price, um, 348 euros I believe retail, um, yeah, good value for money too. Um, so yeah, that's that's it, that's my thoughts on the uh, Bodnik Mohawk uh, takedown recurve. Um, I hope I've covered all the points that uh, I should have done. Uh, if I haven't, please feel free to contact me uh, via YouTube on the comments below here. Or for those guys who know me on the uh, Facebook groups, etc., give me a shout on there. And um, if this review has been of any use to anybody, I, I hope it has, then it's been well worthwhile doing. Well, that's it. That's me over and out. Happy New Year, guys. Catch you in 2015. All the best for now. Cheers. Bye.